driving on this road nearly every day for the 20 years it's been built. And I've spent so much time sitting in traffic jams on the M25, I got fed up talking to the traffic cone, so I put pen to paper. In another 10 years' time, it's gonna be just fine. They moved the cops from low, now we don't have to go slow. The traffic cones will be gone, and we'll be moving on. He drove is just an hour away, and gap was less than a day. There was no forward planning when they built it. They didn't make spaces to build extra lanes. The hard shoulder is the size of a peanut, so if a truck breaks down, they have to cone the, uh, the lane off to mend a tyre. Um, I would argue a lot of people do use the M25 but don't actually have to on certain school runs and little bits. Uh, this should be an essential road for the truckers to keep the trucks out of London and to keep it all flowing really. Pulling at the welcome break to have some chips and steak. Smoke blows out me funnel. Oh, I'm in the Darkford tunnel. We fly past the old bill, heading to Old Redhill. Trucking on through Surrey, we're in a terrible hurry. When I listen to the radio and I hear the travel reports, which I do all day, you very, very rarely hear people say there's a jam because of volume of traffic. There's a lot of careless drivers. If speed cameras worked, why are there so many accidents every day? I believe we should replace them with tailgate cameras. If they want to drive up someone's bottom at 10 yard distance, let them get caught on a camera, a tailgate camera, and they will lose their license. The M25 is now fun, we wave to everyone. The lanes are open wide, so we can drive side by side. Oh, we're on the M25.